Hey everyone, this is Clayton, and guess what I found while I was outside yesterday? Okay, let's see if that looks better. Does that look better? Focus, focus, focus. Autofocus, alright. Okay, I came out here today because the sun was shining, and I thought, you know what, we're going to look for something, something that's shiny that we want to cut. And I really found something shiny. I mean, look at that. You don't get much shinier than that. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to cut this. I find a stone and take it home and polish it and hope it shines and also there's a chicken. Ah! Oh, here it is. And even though I sound redundant, this stone is pretty cool. I mean, shining in the sun like that? Ooh, baby! So, yeah, it's got to be cut. So, let's take a look here. What do we have? Um, well, we've got a semi-flat side there and a rounded upside there. So, it's got a decent teardrop shape to it already. So, that's a good idea. Well, it's a good idea that that's going to end up being a teardrop. So the first thing to do, I guess, is to get this here over onto the wheel, trim up the sides, and see what we got. And then we'll decide which side we're going to cut. Okay, I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. And, whew, well, all I can say is this stone, there's a lot going on in this stone. Okay, so let's get a little bit wet here so you can see. Let's take a look at what we got going on here, if it ever focuses. Come on, focus. There we go. You can sort of see there is sparkly goodness, like, everywhere. Let me dry it off a little bit. That might help. There, you can see some of the sparkly goodness better. I, you know, I really got no clue what this is. Yes, I know. That's I say all the time. And I really don't know what this is. I've not actually seen a stone like this before. Um, yeah. I'm like, I don't know. It's just really sparkly. See how close we can get and still have focus. I mean, look at that. There's, it's like a, a glitter bomb dropped in that thing. Now, I got the edges down, down nice. So, I guess the only thing you really do is to get the, well, I'm not even going to work that top without putting it on a dot. So, I'm just going to dot this thing on this side and get to work on getting that dome and see what happens. Alrighty. Right, let me get the dumping equipment of destiny out here. Yep, see if I can find me a... Oh, well, oh and I fixed my alcohol lamp. Ah! Yay! Yeah, it's about time. So wax on, wax off, you know how that goes. Well, I put some silicone around this so I could seal it up. And now I have a... Hopefully, ooh, are you going to melt? Nope, not going to melt the phone. So hopefully this will be a fully functioning alcohol lamp now. Instead of one that was semi-functioning and annoying. I may not have to put any extra wax on there. Hmm. Imagine that. I should just put a little one just for the, just to be on the safe side. Because that's what we do here. Now what we do here is usually have stupidity involved with stone cutting which I think works out pretty well let's see I was really you know it's amazing that I can walk around the same areas of the yard or same landscaping rock areas and then find something new that I haven't seen even though I've looked over the area area a dozen times it, it it's sort of like 
Really? How did I miss that before? I seriously have to get... Uh, some new lapidary equipment. My grinding wheel here is really, 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 really bad. Diamonds are about all gone. It's got an odd size arbor on it, and I have to order them from China. And getting stuff from China right now? Yeah, that's. Ouch! Oh, Jeez! Ouch! Ah! That is ah, still bloody hot. Holy smokes. Huh. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah, ordering stuff from China. It's like up to, it says 10 to 12 weeks for the, for the one blade to come in. 10 to 12 weeks for one of these, just because of this arbor size. I might be able to get like one of those unibits and drill it out, but if it's off center, then it throws everything around so bad. So I'm just sort of trying to drag this one out for as long as I can. Actually, I'm selling my plasma so I can get money to buy some new equipment that I don't have to order from China. Okay, so this is ready. I'm gonna take this over onto the stone. Onto the wheel, not to the stone. I'm gonna take the stone over to the wheel and put the dome on. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I am back and let me get this a little bit more wet here. The stone is turning out, well, pretty darn nice. I mean, focus. Take a look at that. We've got sparklies. We've got black. We've got just all over. It's pretty darn cool. I've not seen a stone like this before. I've seen a lot of stones in my life, but no, I've not seen one quite like this one. And there's not much more to say about it because it's going along fairly smooth. Did have it fall off the dop stick though. Ah, had to put that bag on. You didn't have to see that. So I think the next thing on the agenda is 500 grit. So, oh God, dripped a little bit on it. So let's get this going. Because I want to see what this stone looks like. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Hopefully we still have a stone. Okay, ooh. That's coming along really nice. Doesn't seem to be much undercutting. But there is a whole lot of shiny... Oh, wait, let me get this stupid light off. Oh, that makes... I have an extra light over here for when I'm working on this so I can see better, but it doesn't help the filming any because I have special light for that. Hmm. So I'm going to work this just a little bit more along these edges, and then we're going to get over to the other sandpaper. Okay. Alrighty. Here we got the thousand grit. We got everything ready. And that's looking pretty darn nice. Even nicer with that light out. Okay, so let's, without further ado, you know what's next. Right, let's see what, how this is coming along here. Let's see, ooh. That's... Sparkling pretty nice. All oh, this light. Uh, that's my stupidity there, man. Anyway, this this is uh coming along pretty nice. I don't know. We'll see what we got. I'm gonna polish this up some more. I said about uh, selling my blood plasma. I had been wanting to donate plasma for a while because my uncle has some sort of blood disorder that his blood's getting super thick it's like as thick as well when he cuts it you can almost watch the blood come out of the cut like that slow like really cold syrup right out of the fridge and he has to get like a pint of blood taken every two weeks and 
a pint of plasma put in to try to thin the blood out so that you know it actually pump through his veins so I wanted to donate plasma and there wasn't any, any place close that I knew of I mean the closest place was like an hour and 20 minute drive and then I recently found out that there's a plasma place <laughs> literally 15 minutes from here I went there and then I found out that you actually got reimbursed for donating which was quite nice I thought because I would have gone and done it just because you know my uncle couldn't use the plasma I know it wouldn't go my plasma wouldn't go to him specifically but you know that's one more that's a fine gesture you're putting into the plasma pool apparently but I'm gonna use the money for that try to get some new new lapidary equipment actually get real lapidary equipment because the stuff I have this is all homemade I've made all this except for the the uh, cutting saw which is a Harbor Freight tile saw sort of modified Ooh. That's looking pretty darn nice there. That is like super sparkly and super sparkly in like every way you can think of. Those brown sections are take away from it just a little bit, but whew, I think once that gets polished, full polished, that's going to be a seriously beautiful looking stone. I'm going to hit this just a little bit more. And then get her on the cerium oxide. Alrighty, let's see what we have now. That's really, really shiny as it is. Good grief. Hmm. Now, if anybody out there has any idea what this stone might be, you know, you call me or put it in the comments or whatever. So, I think I'm going to take this over onto the cerium oxide wheel, and we'll see if we can get this baby into a super shiny. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back, and this thing is pretty darn shiny. So, let's get her up in there where you can see. I mean, take a look at that. Look at that stone. Whee! There is sparkly goodness all over the place in this thing. Like I said, I've really got no clue what type of stone this is. But it is really pretty. I do have to say that... Let me get the pointy stick. Let me get this off the stick first. But, okay, here we go. Let me get the pointy stick of destiny. There's a little bit of brown stuff here. It did have a few undercuts in that area. But nothing actually really serious. But that stone is... Actually, it's kind of hard to see. Let's see. How close can I get and still focus? Apparently not that close. Actually, it is focused, but it's just so black that it's hard to see. So let's get down here a little bit. That stone's pretty darn nice. Huh. So I would say that this stone is a win. So if you like the video, you know, hit that button down there, subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos with all kinds of shinies and maybe not shinies. So anyway, thanks for spending some time with me and have a good evening.